Have you ever caught yourself comparing your own self-image to the touched-up image in an advertisement or magazine cover and thought, wow, I wish I looked like that, or I wish I had that body? When I was a teenage girl, these were frequent thoughts flowing through my mind when I would read a magazine and see the advertisements of photoshopped, thin, beautiful models and pretty couples. Now that I am an adult, it is common sense that none of these ads are an actual good representation of what humans all over the earth look like but it is still easy to get swept up in the idea of these ads and get down on yourself for not being exactly what our culture is telling you to look like or be like. When going through the Cosmo magazine and Men's Health magazine, I saw many examples that prove gender inequality and dangerous gender stereotyping are very much prevalent in our modern culture. I first focused on the Cosmo magazine for my analysis. Right off the bat, you can tell that this magazine is catered to women. While going through the ads of this magazine, there were several issues with these ads that once I saw them, I couldn't believe I didn't see the big picture before. The first issue that stood out to me is that most of the ads in the magazine included mainly white female women that were either in their late teens or early 20s. These women had long shiny hair and their bodies were either very skinny, which meant no curves whatsoever or athletically fit. Out of all the advertisements that were in this magazine, there was a total of four women who were not white. To me, this is telling the general population that you need to be a thin, white, female, long, shiny hair full of youth to make our products look good. While I was flipping through these ads, I came across a slightly unsettling ad that was for the Levi's 501 skinny jean. The ad included three very thin girls in their late teens, and the caption was, a perfect fit for everybody. But the falseness of this is that that perfect fit is not for everybody, because not everybody is a size 2, and that's being generous with the size, and the jeans simply will not fit a curvier lady. This way of advertising is dangerous in several different ways, considering that many girls from their childhood until their adult years suffer from body dysmorphia or severe eating disorders. The second issue that I notice is the countless number of products being advertised to modify women's flaws. I found 13 plus advertisements telling women how to modify their appearance with the company's product. This includes everything from acne, foundation, cover-up, and mostly anti-aging products. One example that I found was for the Clinique BIY pigment drops. In the ad, there were no models and just the product. The caption is what stuck out to me and it stated, one drop, endless possibilities. In my opinion, it seems as if the ad is telling women that if they can cover up their flaws, they can achieve anything. I think women are a lot greater than that and their main focus should not be to cover up their flaws to spare the eyes of others. My second focus for my analysis was the Men's Health magazine. This was my first time opening up this magazine brand and just from the title of the magazine alone, you know that this magazine is catered to men. Just like I had found in the Cosmo magazine, there were very few people of color in their advertisements. Their ads mainly included white, lean, or athletically fit males in their 20s or early 30s. This lack of variety in skin color and size was the first issue that stood out to me while reading this magazine. Secondly, many of the products being promoted included protein powder, protein bars, nice cars, training shoes, and acne treatments. With all of this put together, these advertisements seem to want to put pressure on males to not only live up to a manly persona, but to also to have a flawless face, buff arms, and a six-pack stomach. In my opinion, these ads lead boys and men to have a false hope and to also pressure them to live up to these unrealistic expectations. An ad that caught my eye was for the hydroxy cut supplements that featured an extremely buff white male who was tan and it captioned, I lost 34 pounds and ran my first marathon. Promoting this false information seemed wrong to me because you were telling the general audience that if they take this supplement, then they will look like the man featured in the ad and make mir miracles happen with very little effort at all. Last, something that bothered me personally while reading this magazine was that most of these ads had to do with being athletic or outdoorsy, but not one woman was featured doing so. The indirect message of this is that to be considered strong or athletic, you must be a man to fulfill this role. From my own personal experience, this is completely inaccurate, but this just shows the general audience how prevalent our gender gap still is today, no matter how many females participate in sports and outdoor activities currently. It is unfortunate that people all over the world look to these advertisements for guidance, opinions, and even advice on what to buy, but we should all be looking at the big picture. After analyzing both magazines, I realized I should be concerned that these ads are catered to mostly the white population that body positivity has not come a long way and that these companies are advertising a false hope of becoming the perfect woman or man. 
Not only do these companies give people false hope, but also unrealistic expectations when it comes to men and women dating. Men and women see these ads and expect to find the perfect boyfriend or perfect girlfriend. For women especially, I feel like we are always being compared with the way models look on TV or magazines, and when we can't compete, then we're instantly dismissed. These ads also tell us that covering our faces with makeup and foundation will make us perfect. They tell us that scrubbing our skin raw with their body scrub will get rid of our acne and scars. Finally, they tell us that consuming supplements and protein powder will give us the body that society tells us that we need 